guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm bringing you a uh, my week 26 post op BSG update. Um, my six month anniversary is actually on tomorrow, which is January 1st, 2014 the first day of the brand new year. Um, this is my last video of 2013, which is so crazy. I cannot even believe that 2013 is, is coming to an end. Um, but I wanted to, of course, start off with my numbers. Um, I started out my highest weight ever recorded was 330 pounds. The day of surgery, I was 306. Last time I came to you weighing 2 19 I believe 219 I think um, and this morning I weighed at 217 so that's a two pound loss from last week that is 89 pounds since uh, the day of surgery and that is 113 pounds since my highest weight ever recorded um, so crazy I cannot even believe that this year I lost 113 pounds it's so incredible and amazing and I literally would not change my mind on having surgery Ever. Like, I'm so excited I went ahead and did it. Um, even though the beginning was really tough for me, um, and I had, you know, gallbladder surgery and just a whole, a whole lot of bumps along the way, um, I'm just really grateful that I did it. And I am um, literally so excited for 2014 and to see what, um, you know, all 2014 has to offer and what um, is to come my way in the new year. Um, I'm definitely filming in a different location today, but I wanted y'all to see this beautiful um backdrop behind me i'm actually in bandera visiting my husband's parents um, for the new year and um bandera is actually about mm, an hour uh outside of san antonio um so if y'all are familiar with texas at all and everyone knows san antonio so um it's about an hour away from that um i think it's an hour i'm not really sure south east north west anyway look up san antonio and around there is bandera <laughs> but um it's kind of like what you would i guess people who've never been to texas would imagine texas looking like if you've never been to east texas where i'm from um there's a whole bunch of pine trees and there's just trees everywhere and um here there's not a whole bunch of trees and um I don't know. I just feel like their view of the texas hill country is so beautiful i wanted to make sure and share that with y'all um what else? Um, so this is my last video of 2013. I cannot even believe that. I can't believe I'm fixing to be six months out. Um, I remember in the very beginning thinking, oh, I can't just can't wait till I'm six months out. I just can't wait. I'll feel better. I know everything's going to be okay at six months out. And I do. I feel so much better. I literally feel like I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my whole life. I've never felt this good. Um, just physically and um, where I am at as far as my weight loss journey goes, I'm just so proud of myself and all the decisions that I've made along the way and for this journey, for sure. I'm so grateful for the surgery. I'm grateful for all of you out there who continue to watch my journey, um, with every video that I post. <clears throat> so I want to make sure and wish all of you a happy new year. I will be recording a new video, um, probably tomorrow because that's my six months anniversary. I'm going to include, um, Hopefully, I'm going to find time to include um, um, lots of different things in that video. Um, favorite restaurants that I eat at, what I eat when I do go out to eat, um, and just some struggles that I've been having as far as um, outside support and um, people noticing my weight loss. Um, I'm so proud and happy to say that I just came through Thanksgiving, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas without um, getting off plan. Um, I stuck to my plan. I was really strict on myself the entire holiday season. Season, did not buckle, did not wave, um, did not waver. I literally did every single thing like I was supposed to. And I'm so, so, so proud of myself for that. Um, a year ago, I would have never even imagined saying that to you right now. I just felt like the willpower, my willpower was gone. I didn't really know where to find it. And I feel like I found it and I've overcome so many struggles when it comes to food. And I finally feel like food does not control me. It does not.